Wanna see you shake it down, baby. And they see why you're nasty. Boy, you're just so nasty. And they see why you're nasty. Baby, I don't I love the way I talk and nasty. Why you nasty? Yeah, I love the way I talk in nasty. Thank you very much. Thank you, Nathan. Everybody. I'm Nathan Dore. I'm the principal here. One of the principals here at Italia Conti Hall. Um, I also work for Italia Conti London and have done for a very long time. I work for a number of their different institutions, also in Guildford and some of their other sites. Um, and I generally oversee um, shows and uh, productions that they put on. Italia Conti is a place where if you've got a dream or an ambition for the performing arts, any side of it, that's uh, a place to go, a place to be expressive, a place to have fun or a place to work very, very hard and push a dream, push an ambition. Uh, it's uh, quite unique in many ways. It's the oldest uh, theatre school in the world. Um, it's been running for well over 100 years. It's certainly the oldest establishment in the UK um, and it provides professional level training in the performing arts. So singing, dancing, acting, musical theatre, putting them all together, it provides all of those things. Both uh, Pat, who's the other principal, and myself have connections with Hull. Um, I've done uh, a lot of the pantos here uh, in the last few years, and Pat's originally from Hull. Um, we both felt that um, it would be a lovely place to bring something to. There's nothing like this uh, in any of the north of England. Uh, there's lots of places in the south, but there's uh, not many opportunities for the, what we provide in the north. Um, so we thought that Hull would be a great place to do it. Uh, we have you know, some connections here with uh, the theatre and other places which uh, you know, we could build on. Um, and um, we looked at various premises in Hull. Uh, we were at Sirius Academy and the facilities here are second to none. Uh, all the uh, dance floors are sprung dance floors. There's mirrors on the walls, there's ballet bars. We've got amazing sound systems, uh, we've got lights, we've got staging. Uh, it has everything that somebody coming to a place like Italia Conti would expect. Uh, the reason I've come to Hull is because I was born here. I was here till I was 16 and then I went down to London and trained in the performing arts. I know the passion that's here, the talent, there is talent here in Hull and I wanted to come back to my birth town and bring my experience. I am passionate about this school and I really want to give these kids with talent the opportunity for them to realise their potential. Italia Conti coming to Hull uh, offers something slightly different. So we're not really competing with the schools that are already here. There's some very good dance schools in Hull offering you know, ballet, tap uh, and other uh, performance skills. Um, we're offering something slightly different. We're not really in direct competition with those places that have been doing a great job for, for many years. We're offering um, sort of a, a complementary service to um, what people are already doing. So people can carry on doing their ballet wherever they do their ballet or their tap wherever they do their tap. And perhaps the things they can't get at those schools, perhaps they don't offer musical theatre or they don't offer solo singing slots, well, they can come to us if they want to pursue those things. Hi, I'm Charlie and I've been playing Charlie in Charlie in the Chocolate Factory in London. So uh, another unique thing about Italia Conti Hull is our link with the Italia Conti Agency in London. So Italia Conti runs an agency uh, trying to find work for all the Italia Conti students. Uh, we have a link with that agency. Um, we can um, invite students who are working very hard and are getting a good level of training uh, to join that agency and that agency then tries to open doorways to other opportunities that perhaps the uh, students wouldn't be able to get otherwise. My name is Emily Rustow and I've been singing for three years and dancing for two. I realised I wanted to take performing arts seriously when I went to the West End to see Hairspray. 
I can't believe a London stage school has come to Hull. It's an opportunity of a lifetime to be part of the school. And hopefully will help me get to the London stage school. And someday on the West End. Italia Conti is quite unique in Hull in that we have a, a sort of a holistic approach to what we do. Obviously we offer classes in ballet and tap and singing and acting etc etc but we try and incorporate other things uh, to enhance the experience of the students. So for example today we've had Pixie Lock come in and share some of her experiences uh, about performing and about being a professional singer and she signed some CDs and had some photos. We also bring in people to do workshops, uh, people from shows come in and uh, you know we'll uh, take the students through some material that they're working on in their shows, we run master classes and we also uh, try and help talented students or students from um, you know, less comfortable backgrounds, so we provide scholarships uh, to assist uh, people that perhaps couldn't come to us uh, without that kind of opportunity. I had an audition for the school and then I found out I loved dancing as well. Um, and then, yeah, I auditioned for the main school and I started in year seven. And then I left, I did the first year of the college, but I was sort of dipping in and out. Um, so I left when I was 17 and then my son came out literally like a few months later when I was 18. Pixie Lock came here because she is one of the success stories of Italia Conte. She's here to offer advice, um, share her experiences, share her success and um, encourage maybe or inspire, definitely inspire young kids that um, are maybe thinking about doing the same as her. If you felt that you uh, would like to have a scholarship at Italia Conti, you'd have to come to us uh, and apply. Uh, we'd give you a slot and you'd have to show us what you can already do. So you'd be expected to show us your dancing skills, your acting skills and your singing skills. Uh, and we would have a look at that and see uh, how best we can help you move forward. I was fine, it was about two minutes before I went in, and then I was, when I got in, I was nervous. did um, a song which was part of your world. I did um, a dance to Jar of Hearts, and I did um, a monologue that's Anne Frank. And I think for somebody like Evie, um, she struggles at school, she always has done academically, but to come here, see that professional side, that there are other options available. It's not all about school, it's not all about, not everybody can be an A student. And if you actually enjoy something else, there are some really good options available for you. I used to do two dances, a song and a monologue. Nervous. <sighs> Very. <laughs> really nervous. Can't you see all my millions of fans? 
I went in and I thought, yeah, it's going to be easy. When you get in there and it's like, your mouth goes dry and you, you get like butterflies in your, in your belly. But then once you start like dancing and singing, you get like into it, so... So I went, I think it went all right. I didn't mess up as much as I thought I would have done, but... I reckon my dances were the better out of the two that I ever did, but I thought, to be fair, I'm going let my monologue in like two days, so I thought that'd been, that'd been the worst thing I'd done, but actually it went quite well, so... I was, I was really nervous and I was really, I was shaking and I thought I was going to forget everything. Like before I went in I was forgetting all my dances, thinking oh no I can't do it. But when I was in, I just, it just all came back to me. After my, after rain, all my confidence came into me. So I didn't, I thought I did okay. <laughs> You know, Tally Conti the name, there's a commitment with it. There's a commitment that they have to accept. And it's discipline, it's bringing a standard back for the north. You know, the standards are down south. They're the schools that are pushing these kids. And why, why can't we do that in Hull? Why can't Hull have a standard? The dream for me would be Tally Conti Hall would be recognised as a place where directors, choreographers know there's a certain level of kids that are, uh, are being trained there. Hey, Mr. I'm a comer. I'm simply gonna march my heart to drum and know, but I don't know.